sales now, baby. Howdy, everybody, and welcome to the show where today we're just outside of Wichita Falls, Texas, and we're going to be airborne with the Airwolf, and our mission is to kill as many coyotes and feral hogs as possible. I think you're going to like this one, and I like that vibration. Woo, baby! guy by the name of uh, Gary Olson. Right there, he's straight ahead. Bring it in. Okay, here he is. I'm on him. I'm on him too. I was on him. I like that. Thank you, Gary. Good job, bud. He's got an unbelievable, powerful helicopter, and he is a master in the sky at helping annihilate feral hogs and other predators. We're going to take this guy with the airwolf and see what kind of damage we can do. Now, baby. Go get him, Airwolf! Go get him! We've gone up with the Airwolf last year. Let me tell you something. It was mayhem. It was the most awesome thing you could ever do. I tell people it's the most fun you could ever have with your clothes on. I promise you that. But it was ridiculous. It was the most incredible experience. And, uh, uh, you know, we did a show and it ran and we got so much good response off of it. We got some bad response off of it, too. Like, ah, those are all going to waste. You're not eating them. Nothing goes to waste, and we'll cover that in the show. Our job is to kill coyotes and feral pigs, and very, very seldom we do pick them up. And the reason for it is they're scattered all over the landscape. I mean, we could be 12 miles across on most of these ranches here. You know, I say nothing goes to waste, and I sincerely mean that. Uh, you know, just because a human doesn't eat something doesn't mean that it goes to waste. The birds, and the coyotes, and the bugs, everything else ate it. So the way I look at it, nothing gets wasted in the field. I KO'd him. Boom. Him. Very nice. Good shoot. Very nice. Smoked him. Nice smoked puppy. He goes out, we break across this field. I mean, it's a wheat field that's open as far as from here to Dallas. I mean, it's like, holy smokes. And these pigs are going, here you go, little piggy. And here you go, little piggy. I mean, I'm talking to the cameraman. He says, shoot that one. Okay. Shoot that one. Okay. Of course. Me, I mean, I'm dependent upon Gary to do his job. Every time I look up there, I mean, Gary's like he's got four or five different eyes. I mean, he's got, he looks in there, you can see the hog, you see the coyote, and he's got his eyes on the instruments and his hands are always busy and stuff. But this guy, he's a machine. That's why they call him the airwolf. I have to know where the animals are. Uh, if I see something, I have to pass it back to them. Timber to short timber, or even if we get along near a wooded area, we can even push them out into a, you know, his wheat field chaos when you're up there. You hit one, you don't make a good shot, but you know he's gonna die. We surf around and finish him off. Lights out. I can tell you right now, uh, you know, when we show nothing but the kill shots, it makes it look real easy. It's not easy to hit these guys. And we do not kill everyone that we shoot at, nor that we see. I want you to know that. And so, uh, you know, while you're getting pretty good on the hogs, I mean, the hogs run pretty fast and they're through the brush and they're hard to hit. 
But when it comes to the coyotes, it's a completely different ball game. Those suckers don't run in a straight line. They cut and move and they zigzag back and forth, I mean, through that brush. And I'm telling you what, a coyote out of a helicopter is a dang hard target to hit. But when you knock one over, there's not a better feeling in the world for me. I'm a deer lover and I hate coyotes. You know, occasionally you'll wind up coming up and there's a bunch of little babies running along. And I mean, these babies, I mean, they're gonna be totally fine without their mama until the airwolf shows up, of course. And so they're running along, I mean, like a whole covey of them. Hey, they're getting it. And all of a sudden Gary says, fuck, shoot, just shoot right in the middle of them. Okay. And then go to rapid fire. Okay. And then all of a sudden they start breaking up and Gary, the airwolf goes around and he banks over there. It's a boom, we smoke another one. Where'd they go? And over there, boom, and another one. Pretty soon, they're all gone. There's a lot of compensation involved on, on shooting out of a helicopter. It's, it's more of a challenge than people realize. Let's get busy. Okay. Any one you want, pick it. Smoke's the next. Take the right one. Hold him. All right, one second. Do it. Oh. Almost made it to the road, but... <laughs> three up, three down. Isn't that the way you do it? Do it, do it. Now I'm telling you, sit and stay. <laughs> do it, do it. Roll them. All right. The one in the lead. Yeah, take them. That was a good shot. Got that one. Up to the next one. Yep. Down the line. Got him. I'm out. I had a good time doing it. I want to thank Gary Olson. My name's Keith Warren, and I want to thank you for watching The High Road.